hi guys welcome back to my channel today's video i'll be showing you guys how to update your old wig and how to get this orange copper ish kind of color and if you want to see how i do that watch till the end and don't forget to subscribe and share with your friends okay so for this video i'll be using one of my favorite old wigs this wig was originally ombre black and gold and then i decided to dye everything to gold i have a video on my channel with where i did the initial first video so i'm going to link that so you can see how the hair was actually and how long it has stayed with me i also did cut the hair because this hair was like 18 inches and then it started shedding down there so i just cut it so that i can have a full base so this is what the hair looks like after i bleached everything so that they could match i do still have some streaks of brown in the hair and it's totally fine because when i dye it to orange it's not going to look that bad today i'll be using Ado in color 72 which is the paprika and i'm going to be using some moisture color i bought from the market okay so usually i like to do the whole therapeutic brushing of your hair but these days i really don't feel like doing that so i just decided to go for the easy faster method um this is not the first time i'm doing hot water dye i have done it a couple of times but this time i decided to go with hair that was like really really old and not freshly bleached hair or not 613 hair so first off, I'm going to put the moisture color. As you can see, it has that really, really nice orange hue. And then I'm going to go in with the adult color and I'm going to put it. The adult color is much more darker. That's because I wasn't sure. I didn't want like a really pastel orange. I want the orange that was really, really dark. And this is the wig that we are going to be putting as you already saw before now i'm going to go in and i'm going to mix everything together as you can see my mixture looks like tea does it look like tea i don't know i'm just going to go right ahead and i'm going to start dipping the hair into the water um so when i did this process i didn't quite like the orange i saw like it was orange quite all right but it wasn't as orange as i wanted it to be I'm going to just keep dipping it into the water also for those of you who always ask like what's the science behind water coloring as you can see once you dip the hair the color just clings to the water and then you get your color i did go in with some more moisture color to give me the orange that i wanted and now everything is pretty much saturated i'm going to go in with my comb and i'm going to just keep pushing the hair so that i can really lean in and then i'm going to comb it so that i don't see those particles that are trying to hang for that day life this is what the wig looks like as you can see it's really orange and it looks pretty like ugh, i love this color so much i did want to experiment and do ginger hair but i was like you know what i might as well just skip the ginger stage and go directly to orange hair For this video, I'm going to be using the Miss Inner Living Conditioner to style my hair and the conditioner is really really rich and it works very well for hair that has been dyed or colored or bleached so that you can still retain some moisture into the hair. So as you see, I'm just rubbing it into my hands and then rubbing it on the hair. I'm going to go in a couple of more times so that the hair will be fully saturated and then I'm going to go ahead and start rolling my hair with the Flexi Roots first off to do the flexi rod you're going to have to comb your hair so that it's tangle free and then you're just going to wrap the hair around in twist i do plan on making a how to curl your hair properly with flexi rod video if i've done that yet i'm going to link it if i haven't done that yet i will still link it in the future so again like i said you comb your hair and then you just wrap the hair around and then you end it at the ends with the, you close it at the ends with the rod I did that off camera and now i've come to the front so that i can show you how the like how i have progressed also i really really love flex rods so much like the whole idea of heatless curls it's just really amazing to me so i always like to do 
all of my wigs i have i always like to do like flexi red curls i will say however that the disadvantage is that once you unravel them because you want the hair to be you want the hair to be kind of wet when you do it and the way the curls set once you unravel them if they didn't if you didn't wrap them in a very smooth way like if the hair was tangled when you wrapped it your hair is going to be very much a very big gigantic mess when you unravel it and you do not want that like you want it to be as smooth as possible and you want it to be as neat as possible so that when you unravel it you don't get so much freeze I do feel like um, when you wrap hair with like the rod, it becomes a little bit frizzy, and that's fine. Like not everything has to be perfect, even though I'm kind of a perfectionist. Okay, so that's what we have right now, and then I'm just going to go ahead and do the last ones. You already get the drill. It's just that sometimes people always argue like, why don't I style hair on camera? So I felt like I owe it to you guys to just come on here and show you guys how to do it in case you have never watched a flex zero tutorial. This is the last one and again like I said wrap 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 and twist wrap and twist or rather twist and wrap I don't know which comes before the other one but it's basically the same thing you twist the hair and then you wrap it around the flexi rod and then we are done so I'm going to leave my baby to set for two days or one day and go on with my life and come back to show you guys how it looks like. This is what it looks like and as you can see because I made sure that the hair was really smooth when I unraveled it. You see how smoothly the curls come out. That is what you should be aiming for. Like you do not want the curls to come out and then they are super super frizzy. That is not good when you do that. You just know that your hair is going to be a mess when it comes out super super frizzy. And then I'm really trying to resist the temptation of running my hands through it but I guess you could easily run your hand through it to separate the curls before you go in with a brush or before you go in with a comb. This is what it looks like, like just taking a moment to enjoy the curls. And then I'm going to go with my very big comb and I'm going to brush everything out. The idea for this was I just wanted very loose disorganized curls. I didn't want the curls to be organized or what. So I just went in with a comb and then I just combed everything out. After combing everything out, as you can see, it's really, really loose wavy. I do feel like straight hair is not my thing. So I like to do very messy wavy hair and it always works for me. And then again, we have come to the end of the video. As you can see, my hair is giving some Jessica Rabbit vibes. This is what it ended up looking like on me. As you can see, the color fits my, my complexion. And I'm looking good and I'm looking gorgeous. I hope that if you do try this, you like it as well. We have come to the end of the video. Don't forget to leave a comment, subscribe, share with your friends. As always, I love you guys and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!